This video is all about our first few sessions warm weather training in Portugal. You're going to look at some conditioning sessions and some very specific technical ones where the focus is on run-up development for both the long jump and the triple jump and we'll also be introducing a new part-time member of the group James who's jumped into the 7 meters 80s. Jahisha who's jumped 13 meters 59 at the time of making this video did a triple jump run-up session but before that we focused on some triple jump specific drills skipping for example and some straight leg hops and bound combinations and then it was on to three to five run-ups depending on how she felt with the objective to transfer from the hop into the step. Jahisha is blessed with great speed which for a triple jumper can be both a blessing and a curse in that you've got to be able to control that speed and this is what we're trying to work on at the moment. Her running into the board is very good and the hop take off and drive equally good. It's the transition from the hop to the step that needs more work. But I think in many ways this is a case of doing it more and more because the body has to get used to the impact forces involved before it can respond and get more length on the step phase. With long jumper James, it was more a case of getting back into the saddle and getting some jumps in under his belt, as his build-up phase to coming out to Portugal had been very difficult to say the least, with illness and injury. So it was great to see him jumping and going out to around about 7.40 off what I think was an eight stride run up with a jog in. James, as you'll see, has a great landing However, there are lots of other things that we need to work on, including his hip positioning when he's running and his positioning into and off of the board. So even with an athlete who's achieved a good distance, as I mentioned at the start in the 7 meter 80s, there are still lots of technical tweaks and refinements that need to be made in order to improve his jumping and hopefully get him around the 8 meter mark. The jumpers definitely benefited from the hot weather and the strong following winds on the run-up. So that's something that you need to be mindful of, particularly on your return to your country of origin. So we're going back to the UK. We might not have such great conditions, so it's important to put into context the distances and the performances. However, having said that, they're going to have a stimulatory effect on your performance on return. Here, Jahisha works some short approach triple jumps off of 10 steps whilst James did some run-up structuring work. We were joined by Ruby who was coming along for four days and she just did a shake out with some strides in order to get her into the groove and she literally landed that morning and was training a few hours later. I'm going to focus on the triple jump and Jahisha as she, as I said in this video, is working on the transference from the hop into the step phase. Now I know that for many jumpers of all levels that transference is difficult and needs work. I'm often asked that question, how do I improve my step phase? Well, we were trying to focus on various ways to do that. We were thinking about the arm action, the single arm that she uses, and the movement of the hand and whether that would make a difference. But primarily, you've got to coordinate the arm movement with a powerful swing of the free thigh upwards, and that thigh needs to lock into position. So as you come out of the hop, the landing needs to be active with the foot coming back into the track surface with the free thigh being swung upwards and held and that's what we were wrestling with or rather Jahisha was. So the speed that she's generating is going to take her out to in this case off of 10 steps over 13 meters but if we can hold that step phase that a little bit further another 30-40 centimetres I think is quite achievable and obviously we're going to achieve a greater distance. We did a couple of S&C sessions whilst out in Portugal. Here's maybe something that you've not seen before, landmine training as set by Jahisha's US coach Clive Thomas. It's a much more fluid all body type of workout. As you can see you can do many standard type exercises such as cleans and deadlifts, but they seem to be a much more dynamic form of movement, a way of generating power. 
And I can see that the exercises have opened up Shahisha's posture and movements. She's running taller, for example. So landmine training for jumping and sprinting and for Jahisha seems to be having a positive training transference. Well, I hope you enjoyed that insight into the first three days of our warm weather training camp in Portugal. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video or indeed others, then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. And good luck, of course, with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up. And please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so you'll get notified of new videos when they're uploaded. Interested in the extremely accurate and portable freelap timing system, then do get in contact with me. And if you like the Jump Squad merchandise, go to any of the channel's videos and click on the store underneath. And you can get a 15% discount if you use the code JUMP15. If you're interested in finding out more about Theraguns and the Theragun Elite in particular, check out the video on the channel and also look out for special offers and discounts. It's great device, Bluetooth enabled, multiple speeds and great for rehab.